So let's get you some more updates on the broadcast because India's uh, High Commissioner to the UK, while summarizing the situation in Punjab, said that there is no truth to sensationalism. The kidnapping, rape and murder of Sarah Everard at the hands of a police officer, Wayne Cousins, shook London to its core. Leading to court. No restriction on the media reporting and private channels are continuing to show normal life in Punjab. Indeed, India has just hosted two G20 events in the holy city of Amritsar itself. One on education between... When a crisis is being resolved, does this create uncertainty about how to handle future crises? I think it's a fair question to... We'll go straight to the mail now for the beginning of the third section, the mystery of Prince Harry's US visa, Scott. Thanks for calling me a mail. People do forget sometimes. <laughs> uh, people want to know, how did Harry get his visa? They've read his book. Amid uh, tense calm over what unfolded on the foreign soil with regard to the Indian High Commission and of course in the backdrop of government's crackdown in Punjab, India's High Commissioner to the United Kingdom. The docuseries is taking world-renowned chef and global trailblazer Kristen Kish to new heights. The four-part National Geographic travel show called Restaurants at the End of the World takes viewers on a culinary journey. After a four-year hiatus, the Great British Festival returns to Manila just in time to celebrate 77 years of diplomatic relations between the Philippines and the UK. Joining us for more to give this... In the UK, a year-long review of London's Metropolitan Police Force has reached a damning conclusion that it is rife with a boys' club culture, and the force could be dismantled if it does not improve. The report...